Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to season two and the second episode of season two. And also in total, this is episode Ishirini, that is episode 20 in Swahili. Let me know in the comments down below what that means in your language, what episode 21 it is in your language. Let me just put it that way. And uh, welcome to Aston Villa. Welcome to an episode in which we will have a lot of fun it is transfer window business time I'm excited about it i'm very excited about it and i hope you guys will be happy about this epi as well we still have 81 million to spend we have made the signings that we need to make conrad lima has now joined into the squad and the premier league season is yet to start we have liverpool coming up as the first matchup in which we will get into but before we do that match against Liverpool, I want you guys to go ahead and hit that like button on this video. Show that support on the videos and let's keep building the channel. Every like, every subscription always helps us out along the way. If you don't, rot in hell. Anyways, in today's episode, the top comments is coming in from Sir MXBR and a bunch of people that said the same thing. It is one coming in and saying, Johnny, check the free agents list. It has some absolute gems in there, like Karamoko Dembele. And when I read that comment, I was like, wait, what? Karamoko Dembele is available? That's actually a thing? And he is, in fact, an Aston Villa player, lads. I bought him. <laughs> you thought... We'd be going in there and we'd be trying to sell him on a free agency. No, I already got the kid into the team. Karamoko Dembele, we signed now. And he is on the bench, on the reserves team, basically. He has now signed as a free agent, people. We have brought him in. He's a big talent, a massive talent that plays for Celtic right now. And I think it's a natural progression to move from Celtic to a team like Aston Villa into the Premier League. Why would you not do that? He is an amazing player with lots of pace, great dribbling, agility up on 90 as well. But obviously he's lacking a lot in terms of finishing, in terms of moving inside the box, attack positioning, all that stuff will be improved on Karamoko Dembele. And now he is a part of of our team with Aston Villa and he becomes another great talent to play alongside the likes of Rutherford, Cherky and Newton so we now have a bunch of great players in terms of youngsters joining into our squad and you know what for the reserves team we might be able to put together a decent squad you know so maybe Karamoko Dembele goes into that right midfield position of that squad Karejma goes into the center back position of this squad and then Melier, of course, will have to play in this team as well. No Martinez on that one. And then anyone else? Anyone else that can potentially jump in there? Liang is not high rated enough, I guess, to take part in that one. But apart from that, we're looking at potentially Archer. Archer could be an option instead of Ferguson. Uh, but Ferguson has now been dropped from the reserves team because of Nakamba. So uh, let's take away Evans here and put Archer in there. That is going to be another player from the Youth Academy. And then Franklin is the goalkeeper, which we could use, but it's a bit too risky. And we do, of course, have Newton. Oh, sorry, Ferguson, you dropped again. <laughs> we do have Newton here uh, to play alongside Archer. You can see we have a bunch of youngsters now in, so to say, the Youth Academy team. Only thing we're missing is an actual striker. This guy definitely is the one, isn't the one. So we're going to put Wesley in there instead. Also, by the way, in the last episode, this, this comment made me chuckle. It is coming in from Arjun Silesh and he says, Johnny makes his top five players for the previous season and names Konza as his third best performer. And then also, Johnny calls Bradaric, who was named his fifth best performer, his best defender. Konza says, I won, but at what cost? <laughs> I love that comment. Thank you very much, mate. I appreciate that. Yeah, that was probably a mistake that I made. But yeah, Bradaric is the best defender. So I guess you could swap them, them two around. Put Bradaric at number two and Konza at number five. But yeah, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Now, after signing Karamoko Dembele, the massive talent, it is now time, guys, to step in into the Premier League season and see what we are made of. It is going to be Liverpool away against Aston Villa question now becomes do we have enough time to sign a player for our team or that left midfield midfield position 
We had a few suggestions once again coming in uh, from you guys, but mainly lots of people seem to be okay with the fact that I want to go for Anthony. Still can't approach him because I messed up twice now. Uh, we tried to sign him once with a, a swap deal, didn't work. Tried to offer 40 million, didn't work. He seems to be a massive player right now that we would like to get in. And now that I haven't been able to get him twice, I'm more interested. I'm more keen. I, I want to have the things that I can't have, basically. So Vamangituka is going to be playing in the, in the team here. And he has grown to a 75, so I'm pretty sure he'll be doing all right. And uh, yeah, let's get into the Liverpool game. Let's freaking do this. Would you look at that team? Mane, Firmino, Salah, and then Modric and Thiago in midfield. Unreal. With Acerbi at centre-back. Oh boy, oh boy. With the new settings in terms of the sliders... This is going to be quite a match. By the way, guys, if the colors are looking a little bit brighter today, it's because my 4K capture program is a little bit weird right now. Um, so I'm sorry if we are getting a few issues because of that. Very, very sorry. But we have a good game now. Liverpool against Aston Villa. For the next episode, I'll fix the colors. I'll do my best, boys. But now we're going to focus on this matchup. The first game of the Premier League season. The opening match to the season. We better get a good result here. We better get a freaking good result to start it off. It is going to be tough, but I'll try my best. Here we go. Salah stopped by Senesi, who has returned from his injury. Obviously, having Senesi back is going to be a big plus. He was the main defender that we brought in to improve this team, and he has done so. Last season, our biggest issue was conceding way too many goals. This season, we're going to try and not make that happen. It's a great ball. And talking about conceding, of course. Would it be anything else? Would it be anything else but me talking about conceding and straight away our opponent scoring a goal? That's an incredible move from Bobby Firmino. And Liverpool take the lead as expected, I would say. As it was expected, Liverpool come up with the bits. They get it done straight away. We got to do better here. Now Villa chasing it down with Acerbi. Acerbi, it's a good move. Firmino now. Firmino brings it back in. Modric. Modric, it's a quality ball into Sadio Mane. <sighs> we are 2-0 down already, guys. It is not looking good at the moment. Liverpool smashing us to pieces. And it, it just proves to be a season in which we are going to have an incredibly hard time to win against the big teams i told you at the end of the last season i told you guys it's not going to be easy once we change the sliders some people were like oh this is too easy already trust me it isn't it really isn't liverpool is about to get revenge for the 7-2 result nice steal i thought for a second Firmino looking for the man in the middle but we do get the ball this time i want a goal man i really really want a goal and i'm messing up i'm still messing up Firmino inside the box Firmino. Konza. All right, come on. Counter. Counter, counter, counter. This is all we need. This is all we need. We got players making runs. Oli Watkins is now potentially through against Van Dijk. Oli. Yes, man. Come on. Oli Watkins runs through. He's too fast and he starts off the season the same way he finished it last year. Watkins steps up and, co and scores the one more time for Liverpool, uh, for Aston Villa against Liverpool. It is what you love to see. One uh, goal so far. We got to get more. We got to get more goals. Can we make a comeback happen against Liverpool? It would be incredible if we could do so. But Liverpool is still extremely dangerous. And Firmino is so tough to handle. Just because he has five-star skills. He just constantly does them. Same goes for Thiago. By the way, what are we thinking about this weekend's games in the Premier League? Man City against Spurs. Um, I think that game is going to be quite season-defining for City. If they lose against Spurs and Spurs manages to win against that decent or great uh, City side, it could genuinely repel them into a position where they are looking at his potential kite, uh, title candidates. What are we thinking about that? Anyone think that Spurs can potentially go for the title? Uh, especially with the injuries that Liverpool has to deal with, with Man City's inconsistency. We could genuinely be looking at a season where not, none of either Liverpool or Man City are going to be winning the title. And if that happens, who's going to be the team to get it done? Spurs, for once, 
could put a trophy in their empty trophy cabinet. What do you guys think? I think I, I suck at defending. That's what I think. I think Matty Cash has just scored an own goal. That's what I think, mate. What the hell just happened? Look at this. Modric passes, Mane shoots. Matty Cash, instead of kicking it away, he just touches it on. Normally in a position like that, the AI cut, like immediately kicks the ball away. And I kind of half expected it. And it didn't happen. Matty Cash, 3-1 against Liverpool. Oh boy. This first half is telling us a lot about this season, guys. There's, I don't think we're going to finish in top four. I honestly don't think with this team we're going to finish in top four. It's going to be a tough one. We will have to beat every single team outside of the top four to make, it a, to make uh, a, a push into the top four this season. That might end up being realistic, but right now, it looks like we are one season wonders. Last season, Champions League football this season falling apart already. Although, Douglas Luiz is making a great run here. Ah, it's too easy to pick up Fadison. The angle was not good enough. Famagituka, please. Yes, he does get it. Douglas Luiz again. There's a good run from Bertrand Traore on his right foot. And he does get defended nicely. No, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. It's Modric. It's 4-1. Liverpool are actually taking revenge. This is our first game in the Premier League. Liverpool is tearing us apart as we speak. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. I need to, I need to get some goals, man. We're starting off the season with four goals conceded. Are you kidding me, man? Grealish doesn't even get the pass. Oh... This is not the desired outcome of this one, for sure. Get it away, please. Oh my god, I can't even get the ball away from inside the box. It's 5-1. I'm gonna get fired. <laughs> if this keeps on going, I am getting fired, lads. 5-1 in the first game of the season. Are you serious? I am serious. I'm in utter shock. I cannot believe that I thought, you know what? We have a sick team. Let's push for a top four position this season as well. And this is what happens instantly. Bamangituka in a good spot. Come on, let's get one goal in, please. And nope, not happening. I might as well sub in some youngsters to give them some play time because this, this ain't working. Uh, we're going to bring on Cherki here. We're going to bring on uh, Newton. Let's make his debut in the squad. Let's take off Douglas Luiz. And uh, let's give a chance to Rutherford because why not? We're losing anyways. Watkins now potentially pushing past Van Dijk. A pass inside to Bertrand Traore. Bertrand Traore plays it in. One more time. Come on now. Cherki with the goal I saw. Come on then. Youngster coming off the bench and scoring straight away. That's what you like to see. It's still 5-2 though. It is still 5-2. And I've now given Liverpool the official chance to go up and get a 7-2 result. Lima supposed to come into the team to improve our defense and are moving forward. Newton. Newton. Good ball potentially. No, it is not. It's a terrible pass from Newton, but he's massive. And he could get a tackle in here. Newton chases it. Doesn't get it. Good pass. Mane now through. Mane looking for Salah. Salah is through. Salah with another chance. And we do give away a corner from this one. That's this season. It's not looking good for me, man. We're going to sim the rest of this. There's no way we're coming back with three goals. Uh, we're going to jump into the simulation and basically finish it off in shame. <laughs> in absolute shame. It's 6-2. It's happening. They're going to score seven, aren't they? <laughs> Liverpool is going to get seven. I can sense it. If they manage to score seven here, this would be the most hilarious thing to happen to us. Here they go. Down the left-hand side. Now they have it again inside. They bring it back. Good passing play. Salah loses it. The defense comes up with a good tackle. And after this attack, hopefully the game is going to be over. We're basically time-wasting down the wing right now to not lose 7-2. <laughs> That's literally what we're doing. The game is done. We have lost 6-2 to Liverpool to start off the season with one of the biggest defeats I've ever suffered in any of my career modes ever. If anyone thought this was going to be easy, there you go. This is it. This is what I'm expecting for the rest of the year. McGinn has been sold, guys. He is gone. Franklin, the loan offer is coming in once again. We're looking to obviously loan our youngsters, but not sell them. 
So it's going to be another time where we go ahead and offer a, a regular loan deal. But McGinn has left. Sadly, it had to happen. You guys knew it. I knew it. And Nakamba wants more playtime, which I understand because he has been important for us in the last season. But now he has been replaced in the squad. So, yeah, he's not he's not too happy about being on the bench. But we are dead last in the league right now. We're starting off into the season in a 20th position. We got to bring in the, le the new left wing in Anthony as soon as possible. And we have to spend big on him. And I wonder how much we have to actually spend on Anthony. As we move on to the game against Wolves, we could be having two terrible results to start off the season here. If we don't turn things around, it might get a little bit edgy here, guys. And I don't want that to happen. We have a, a deal offered to us for Bradaric for 50 million from Olympique Lyon. They are trying to bring him back into league. Uh, I will not accept that at all. Bradaric is incredibly important, as you guys know. 50 million is a massive offer, don't get me wrong, but I will not let him go. Franklin, one year loan is perfect. We're gonna let go of him to get him back at some point throughout the year. So that is a good one. Uh, hopefully his potential will be going up and his overall could be going up massively as well, because apparently in FIFA 21, the loan deals are a bit nuts this year so we can get a bit lucky there now the question becomes can we get anthony into the club can we try and sign him this time around let's see how it goes 40 million was the last offer where they stood up and went away now we're going to offer 55 to start off with which is a lot of money i know but we need it as you could tell anthony 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 i want you to come into the club mate 55 million this time around ajax come on now they want 74 million for Anthony. Oh, lads, he must have grown into an insane player. We're going to offer them 60. 60 million for Anthony. Let's see what happens here. Will they accept yes or no? They still want 74. This is quite the deal. 65. Come on now, man, Ajax. Let's make this deal happen, please. 69 <laughs> is their last offer as you can tell right here people this is pretty much it we either accept or ix is gonna stand up and leave 70 million for anthony ah oh, this is a tough one he must have grown into an insane player how can they ask for 70 million for anthony i am so intrigued by the fact that he costs this much do i go for it do I go for it? Life's not fun if you don't take risks. 69.6 mil with a sell-on clause for Anthony. What a deal this is going to turn out to be. Please be high rated. If he comes in at an 80 rating, I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be very, very mad. And there he is. He wants to be a crucial first team player. That's a good sign. That's a very good sign. That means he's high rated. We're going to offer him a five-year contract because he's obviously... A young player with a bright future ahead of him. No release clause on here, mate. It's not going to happen. And we're going to offer him 40k in terms of his wages. Hoping that he will accept that. Please accept it. He's fine with it, but he wants some bonuses. That is good. Anthony, for around £70 million, we have now gotten one of the biggest talents, hopefully, in the game. Now to join Aston Villa. We haven't made uh, transfers of this caliber in the last season. Now we have spent it all on basically one guy. If he is not high rated, I am going to lose it here, guys. 75 rated Vamangituka is going to be replaced by a 81 rated Anthony. Are you kidding me? I just spent... <laughs> what? <laughs> How am I spending that much? Oh my God, hold on. Who do I take off the bench? I don't even know. But Anthony coming in with 92 pace, 72 shooting, 73 passing camera. Hello. There we go. We're back again. Um, 86 dribbling, 65 physical. Still, that is such an insane amount to pay for a young one. Don't get me wrong. He looks class, but <laughs> it's too much. It's too freaking much. All right. 
We gotta go into development plan straight away. We gotta sort him out instantly. There he is. Let's go into development plan. He's an exciting prospect right now, and we could potentially get him into a spot where he goes to has potential to be special. We're gonna turn him into an inverted winger, which is gonna improve his shooting, which is very important for me. So we're gonna do that. Anthony, you're a massive signing, mate. If you don't turn out to don't turn out to be an insane freaking player this season, I'm selling you. I'm letting you go. I'm letting you go. He was worth 37 mil. What? I got scammed. <laughs> I got absolutely scammed. Oh my God. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. I've never seen the game itself requesting that much money for a player that clearly isn't worth it. And I've never seen a YouTuber be so stupid to pay 70 million for a player that is barely worth 40 mil. Now, don't get me wrong, his value was probably higher. Most of the time when we buy players, their value for some reason decreases. Um, we had someone that we bought for 40 and he was worth 35 when we brought him in. So that's a bit of a weird one. And we can sort it out here. I think it was Lima, wasn't it? Yeah, he was worth 40 million when we, when we bought him and he went down to 35, which is awkward. I don't know what that is about, but this guy is worth 37 million. And yeah, I don't know. I, <laughs> I'm a bit scared now. I really hope this deal was worth it. And you know what? He gets to show his worth instantly. He's going to be in a starting lineup. Anthony now alongside Grealish and Watkins. If he doesn't get a goal contribution right here, boys, I'm going to lose my mind. But we have a new season, new fan objectives. Let me know in the comments down below about new fan objectives. But there's one right here coming in from Dominic Rogers, And he says... Fan objectives. Um, fantastic fullbacks. Get 15 goal contributions with Matty Cash and Domago Bradaric. That is going to be the first fan objective on the list. Let me know, guys. New fan objectives in the comments down below. Hashtag fan objectives to make it easier to find the comments. And give a like to the fan objectives that you like in the uh, would like to see in the series if you see them down in the comments below. Anthony, you better score a hat-trick. Here it goes. Time to redeem ourselves and time to show the new beast in the team what he has to do now in order to take part in this starting lineup. Anthony, you have to prove your worth. We're going to get the ball over to him. He's going to be up against Semedu and Adama, which is definitely the harder side to play on. So good luck to you, Anthony, in this matchup and good luck to the rest of the team here as well. Good ball. Grealish now potentially with a good run. And here goes Oli. Oli, Oli, Oli. Couldn't get past the keeper. Unlucky, mate. Now Conrad Lima is going to push us forward with his pace, with his dribbling, with his passing. And here goes Anthony. Anthony up on the wings. Anthony cuts inside, plays it to Grealish. Grealish inside with the assist for Anthony potentially. That's a horrible, horrible finish from Grealish. You expect much better from him. Oh, this is awkward. Please. Oh, Bradaric just gets the ball and they do a bicycle kick pass. Interesting. And here goes Anthony again. Anthony now with the ball into Grealish. Grealish this time is going to be looking to find him instead of the other way around. It's a great ball. It's Anthony up against Semedo, who has an incredible amount of pace. And without the ball, he's just going to be faster naturally. Oh, Wolves are through. Wolves are through and Martinez is forced to make a save. 24th minute, Wolves with a big chance and now Jimenez in the middle. They're clearly going to be looking for him on these crosses. And that is Bradaric now, potentially clearing things up. Anthony Grealish, Watkins is through. Oh, it's a beautiful ball from Jack Grealish into Watkins who takes... Why does he take half an hour to take the shot? Mate, Watkins, come on, man. You're much better than that. Why did it take him so long? He has to release the shot instantly. Now, Konrad is going to try and push past the defense, and he does so. It's a beautiful ball into the middle. Anthony is going to cut back in. Anthony, he hits the post, but it's a good sign. He has a three-star weak foot, so I got to keep that in mind when cutting in. I think he is a left footer. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Anthony, now I nearly cut onto his left and took that shot onto the near post. Didn't really happen there. We're going to bring it back in. Jack Grealish tries to get past the defense and Wolves are defending really well. First half so far, quite a back and forth of both teams. Watkins 
Looking for the run of Bertrand Traore. Back into Watkins. Into Grealish. One more. Go on then. Yes! Anthony starts repaying his transfer value instantly. It is a goal. Beautiful build up from the team from one side to the other. And he moves into the right position to score on his debut. Okay. I like that. I really like that a lot. He already had a shot onto the post. And now this time he is a little more accurate. Great passing play from the team. Grealish, as always, with the assist right there. Stepping out and getting it done. And Anthony on his left foot there is not going to be missing. Solid strike. Rui Patricio left with no chance. Jimenez now in a good spot. Douglas Luiz picks it up, but he does give it away straight away. Podence now looking for some good dribbling there. And he does exactly that. They are getting inside with Adama Traore. Senesi is trying to stop him. Adama with a few skills, unnecessary stuff. And he still holds on to it. He's too strong. Too tough to deal with. Jimenez. Quality inside the box. How is Wolves able to hold on to the ball for this long inside my box? That's crazy. And the ball has still not come over to us. They're still holding on to possession. For like five straight in-game minutes, we have been chasing them. And finally... Finally, we get a touch onto it. I want that run, that diagonal run. I didn't get it there from Anthony. Anthony now is going to look for the pass inside for Grealish. Not finding it. Oh, no. 61st, Podence. Konza trying to stop him. Drag back, skill moves, all of it. Coming out right now and Konza shows the little man that he is not strong enough to get past him. Anthony going to play it and move forward. There's the run from Anthony. We're getting it. Anthony, good pass. Bertrand Traore down the wing. Traore stops. Has defenders circling, circling around him. Grealish giving some space. And the shot comes straight off the keeper. Rui Patricio once again absolutely solid. 70th minute. We're going to bring on some more support for the defense. Nakamba now coming in for Douglas Luiz. And uh, the rest of the team seems just fine. Good to see that stamina is not that much of an issue anymore. You know what I was just wondering about? If Anthony costs 70 million, how much does Mbappe cost in FIFA 21? <laughs> I'm just wondering. A few more chances potentially for Wolves to get something going here. And they do try and do so. Goalkeeper's ball. Let's go. Down to the right into Matty Cash. Matty Cash now going to be moving forward a little bit more than usual. I'm looking for that ball over the top. Oh, there's another defender. I did not expect to see that. Good ball. Podence. Jimenez. Jimenez gets it back straight away. Konza now returning back into his centre-back position. It's quality passing. It's a great finish. It's 1-1. Another goal has been conceded. <sighs> another clean sheet gone. Obviously, the last game, our sheets got quite messy. This time around, we have only conceded one with six minutes to go. Wolves outstanding in their passing play inside the box. Uh, even better than Liverpool for some reason, but they haven't scored as many goals. Now we're going to make some substitutions. Anthony has scored his goal. We're going to take him off. Um, I'm going to bring on Rutherford. And uh, Wesley now coming in for Watkins to hopefully get that one goal that we need. Grealish moving forward. Jack Grealish. Jack Grealish still running. Back into Rutherford. Back into the middle. That's Wesley. Wesley up against the defenders. Wesley strong. Oh my God. What a tackle that is. But we do get it back again. Nakamba. Grealish. Grealish lost it. And that is the 90th minute. Now the referee will probably be looking to blow the whistle anytime soon. And we have bottled yet another game it is against Wolves obviously it's a good team but technically we should be at least on the same level which we have proven now with a 1-1 draw against them but I thought there was more to get out of this game the defense was playing really well despite Wolves having lots of possession inside our box we prevented them from taking shots up until the late minutes as they do get their goal once again proving that our defense for some reason is very vulnerable to concede goals despite myself actually feeling like we're doing a good job there. So a bit odd, very odd in my opinion. Um, Konza had a great performance, Senesi had a great performance, but we still conceded. And at the end of the day, it just comes down to not your defense being bad, but your opponent's offense being good. And Jimenez is so good that he hugs no one there. He is so good that he sees invisible people. My God, what a game that was. But it was nice to see Anthony score. 
It was really nice to see the youngster step up, come in for 70 million, huge price tag for someone like him, and prove himself as a decent player in that spot. One chance hit the post, second chance scored. If he can keep up with that type of conversion rate, I'll be very pleased. With that being said though guys, that is it for today's episode. We still have around 23 million, potentially even more than that to spend. So let me know what you guys think we should be doing. We do have a decent amount of budget left within the squad. So let's put this down to that. We have 32 million to spend. Let me know what you guys think would be the right move for our team right now i feel like the starting lineup is good to go but Adarich has gone up to an 81 conrad lima has gone up to an 84 we're seeing lots of growth already we got to keep it up though we got to keep it up and we got to focus on our defenders improving as well it's sad to see that we did lose against liverpool but we came back and half redeemed ourselves against wolves i guess at least we got out of the bottom uh bottom position of the league we are now 16th <laughs> with Champions League football coming up as well. I'm super excited for this season, man. I can't wait to see what's going to happen in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. I love you guys. Have a good one. Take care and peace.